Is Ozempic or Munjara or Trulicity better? I know you're on it, right? Most of you are. And I know you don't want to be on it. I don't, I don't blame you. But as a physician, I always have been an advocate for natural solutions. That's why I stand by nutraceutical, not pharmaceutical, as a means of promoting health. However, it is true that pharmaceuticals have their, have their place in the medicine and prescriptions are sometimes necessary to address certain severe conditions like if your diabetes is severe and so forth. That being said, it is important to understand what it is that you are taking, how it can benefit you. That's exactly what I want to discuss today. So let's explore a few different pharmaceuticals and how they potentially help or harm you. Today we are comparing Ozempic, Chirulosity and Monjara. Maybe you need to switch between them, right? If it is not the right one for you. Now, diabetes treatment should wear the crown. Which one? Let's find out. In recent years, the diabetes battlefield has witnessed the emergence of mighty glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists to make it short GLP-1 receptor agonists in the fight against type 2 diabetes. Well, of course, the best fight is diet and exercise. That's why you're watching my videos. But for those of you who are not able to get their diabetes under control, taking these medications, this video is very important for you. Now, these incredible meds actually mimic the powers of a naturally occurring hormone called GLP-1, which swoops in to save the day by taming blood sugar levels, especially after meals. So the GLP-1 receptor agonist heroes, they often offer additional perks like glucose control number one, Ozempic, for example, will reduce your cardiovascular risk and stroke risk, and even weight loss, which, as you know, a lot of people have been abusing it, semaglutide, and diabetic patients cannot get their Ozempic because, you know, overweight people want to lose it. And I don't blame the overweight people who want to use it because it works for weight loss, although it is a temporary fix, and they know that. But every champion has weaknesses, like these drugs can bring along some potential sidekicks ranging from mild tummy troubles to more severe complications like severe constipation, for example. But fear not, in this epic video, we shall compare the three legendary GLP-1 receptor agonists, Ozempic, Monjaro, and Trulicity, so you can choose your ultimate treatment ally. Now, let's talk about Ozempic. The secret identity of Ozempic is semaglutide. Now, what is a superpower dosage? Well, injection once a week with dose ranging from 0.1 to 1 milligram, but it can max out at 2 milligram. And you're starting at 2.5 milligram most of the time. Now, effect on the blood sugar levels? Well, Ozempic has an awe-inspiring ability to significantly lower A1C levels, which is a key factor or key indicator in long-term glucose control. The brave souls who took Ozempic during clinical trials experienced a mind-boggling average reduction of 1.5% in their A1C levels. Well, you're going to be like, well, I'm taking your supplement, my A1C went down 1.5%, but that's not the point. Today we are talking about the medications, people who want to get their insurance pay everything and don't pay a penny for supplements and end up getting stuck with the medications. Yeah, you need to know what you're taking, right? Side effects. Beware of the some pesky side effects that accompany Ozempic. That will include nausea, sometimes vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain. If you're lucky, these foes are gonna be mostly mild and tend to fade over time. Now, like I said, the benefits on top of that is skillful glucose control 
and Ozempic has been known to lead the mighty weight loss race. In certain studies, patients shed an average of 14 pounds or 6.5 kilos after just one year of treatment. Some people do more, some people do lose less. But Ozempic has shown it is valor in slashing the major cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes by 26%, which is kind of a cool thing to have, right? Now, Munjaro, let's talk about this newer. The secret identity is terzepatide. What is the superpower dosage? 10 milligram. It maxes at 15 milligram, but most people don't go on to the max. Now, effect on the blood sugar levels. Monjaro's influence on blood sugar levels remains pretty close to Ozempic, and it is certainly better than Trulicity or Victoza. It is known for stepping lightly when it comes to side effects compared to GLP-1 receptor companions. Talk about elegance here, right? Well, like I said, Monjaro has side effects too. It has fewest the least side effects among the other three contenders. Pretty impressive. So you get pretty good weight loss, pretty good glucose reduction, and, and much less side effects. Now, Monjaro claims the crown in the realm of minimal side effects. But heed this warning. His coverage and availability may fall behind, way behind Ozempic and Trulicity. Just simple fact that the Ozempic and Trulicity has been in the market for a long time, they have more data, they have more safety data, etc, etc. Now let's talk about Trulicity. Some of you are still stuck with the Trulicity because that's the only thing your insurance covers, and guess what? Insurance companies are so greedy that if they have to pay $10 more, they're not going to upgrade you to Ozempic or Monjaro, unless you pay couple hundred extra dollars every month, then they'll be like, ah, okay, we'll think about that. Now, if you're on Trulicity, let's talk about the secret identity, which is dulagulotide. What is a superpower dose? Those? It's a single once a week injection. Most people stay on 1.5 milligram, but it goes up to 4.5 milligram as well if you have the guts to do so. Trulicity has a knack for taming blood sugar levels. It has been very popular in the past before the new things came along, but it lacks the statistical fireworks seen with Ozempic. Ozempic studies head-to-head -head compared to Trulicity beats Trulicity every time. Still, you know, it still delivers a respectable result in clinical trials. Now, the common side effects, again, same thing, the nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. One big warning for you. These drugs don't really cause kidney failure, but if you are vomiting and if you're not eating or drinking, you're going to get dehydrated and your kidney will fail eventually. So if you are not keeping things down, maybe it's not the best medication for you. Now, these foes might trouble you, they, but I'll tell you they tend to fade over time as you gain strength. Some of the problem also with these medications are headaches. Some people start getting headaches, they don't know where it's from, it's from these drugs a lot. Some people get back pain, they don't know where that came from. Again, it, these drugs can do that as well. So, like I said, all the GLP-1s, including Trulicity, comes with their own set of tricks, but it's been shown that you know, most of them, even Trulicity reduces cardiovascular events by 12%, a little bit less than Ozempic, but there's no head-to-head -head trial here. Now, they are still a worthy but super expensive ally in the battle against diabetes, heart attacks, and strokes. And having said that, we don't have data to know what happens if you stay on these medications for like 20 years, for example. Right, there is some studies showing that the rats get cancer, pancreatic cancer, uh, the thyroid cancer, and so forth. So in human studies in the short term, we don't see a problem, but what happens in the long term, we still don't know. Still too early. Now that you have been armed with the superhero knowledge about these drugs, you can choose a diabetes treatment better when you discuss with your doctor. Remember, 
Don't be the one of those people relying just on medications. Make sure you fix your lifestyle, get your exercise done, keep watching our videos. Also check our website at sugarmds.com for super powerful supplements that will be a great addition to your diabetes treatment. And if you're not sure what to buy, you can chat, call us, take a quiz, etc. And we will guide you in the process. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.